Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you all and welcome to the channel. In this video we will discuss the hierarchy of directories with respect to paths. We will discuss everything related to paths and the hierarchy for accessing directories and files. But before we begin, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين وارض اللهم عنا معهم أجمعين اللهم آمين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد. <coughs> we begin in the name of Allah, the most merciful in this life and in the hereafter. We thank Him for all of His blessings that He has bestowed upon us, for they are innumerable. And we pray that we follow in the footsteps of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his fellow companions. Amen. We also ask for prayers and blessings to be bestowed upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his family, as they were bestowed upon Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, and his family. Now, firstly, let us discuss the hierarchy of any directory system or any file system on any computer or any platform. Initially, you begin with what is known as the root folder or root directory, either or. The directory is synonymous with folder. Then, within the root directory, you have everything else, all the other folders. So, you can have, for example, the program files folder, the users folder, program files x86 folder and so on and so forth so you can have multiple folders or all the folders contained within the root directory folders that are contained within folders are known as either sub folders or sub directories or they are commonly referred to as child directories uh, let me just adjust this for aesthetics and then place these like so and subfolders can contain subfolders of their own to form what is known as the tree diagram which I will discuss in a moment. So let us say this folder has only two subfolders within them, like so. There we go. So these are also child directories. Uh, transparent selection, there we go. Like so. And of course, each subfolder or each child directory could also contain child directories and so on and so forth so as you can see the reason it is called a tree diagram is because this diagram emerges from the root and then it starts to create the leaves like so of course it is nonsensical because trees normally grow from the ground upwards instead these trees grow from upwards to downwards which is nonsensical however and this is my personal speculation the reason it was referred to as such is because of the uh, the kabbalah or rather a specific aspect of the kabbalah known as the sefirut which uh, is the physical manifestation of a, of a godly attribute such as mercy, wisdom, 
power of God and so on and so forth. Of course, this is all heretical beliefs. The reason this is related to the Sefirut is because the, the tree of life, or rather, if one wishes to attain the ten Sefirut of God, the ten manifesta physical manifestations of God, they have to climb what is known as the tree of life, which grows from upwards to downwards like so, where the root is at the top. If you manage as a person to climb till the roots, you attain full divinity. That is my speculation as to why it is designed in such a manner. I could be mistaken, I could be correct. Either way, if anything is related to the Kabbalah, stay away from it because it will not help you at all, believe me. It is all related to magic and just stay away from magic. Anyways, now, the what you have to remember is that the root directory is the folder that contains everything related to your computer or your operating system your drivers your uh, interface your shell the command prompt everything related to your computer is stored within the root directory that is why when you wish to format your hard drive to erase everything and then reinstall the operating system you have to delete the root directory then initialize the setup once again so that everything is installed for you however simply because the root directory contains everything related to your operating system does not mean that this particular directly is a directory is the only root directory we will see how in a moment or perhaps in another lecture we will see god willing what you must remember from this diagram other than the fact that the origin of everything in your computer is known as the root directory folders that contain other folders are known as parent folders or parent directories again as i mentioned directory is normally used synonymously or interchangeably with folder so the root directory is a parent folder to one two and three but it is a grandparent to one and two so the lineage is related to the direct descendants of a folder so this directory is apparent to these three children this is not a parent directory because it does not have descendants this is not a parent directory because it does not have its own descendants this is a parent directory relative to these two folders so even though this is a child directory with respect to its parent folder it is a parent folder with respect to its children folders so we can add this here as uh, perhaps with some adjustment uh, there we go so you have to remember a folder within a folder has filial or familial relationships the container is known as a parent folder whereas the contained is known as a child folder let us check 
the differences between root folder, parent folder, and child folder. We mentioned that the root directory is the directory that contains everything related to the computer, which is what? The C drive or the C folder. In Linux, the C folder is not labeled C colon like so. It is labeled with a forward slash like that. This is known as the root folder in Linux. I believe it is the same in Macintosh. I could be mistaken, but I know with complete certainty that in Linux, this is the root folder. In Windows, on the other hand, the counterpart for this from Linux is your C drive or C colon. Normally it is written C colon. Once I enter this folder, these are all the children folders of the root directory, which means that the C drive or the C folder or the C hard disk or the C directory will always be a parent directory, but it will never be a child directory. It is always the container it is never contained hence why it is called root because nothing is above it in terms of hierarchy everything is beneath it or within it so the c directory here is both a root directory but also a parent directory the reason i highlight both is because there are children folders that can be called root folders. We will see how in just a moment. Now, once I enter here, now I am at this level here. Now, let us say, for example, I wish to access the contents of one of these children folders here. Uh, let us check Glassfish 7, which is an application server for back-end development in the programming language known as Java. So now that I entered into the Glassfish, Glass, Glassfish 7 server, uh, folder, sorry, these contents are at this level. So now if we check the hierarchy, C is the parent folder with respect to glass, glass fish 7 folder. The C folder is the grandparent of these. However, the direct parent of these would be this folder here. So if I press back, it will leave this folder and move into this folder like so. So as you can see, there is a relationship between the parent folders and their children folders. Parent folders normally function as containers. Child folders can either contain other child folders like these folders, or it can contain a file. You can also put files in parent folders, like this file, for example. It is within the parent directory. But it would depend on the hierarchy, of course, because remember, this is both a parent and a root directory. Now that we know the directory, let us create our own folder with its own hierarchy. So I will close this, minimize this, minimize this. In the desktop, I will right click, select new and folder. And I will call this folder the Testament Novus Mundus, like so. Then I will double click here. And as you can see, it is empty. Here, I can 
create children folder so now this folder becomes a parent directory to anything that is placed here however this is not a root directory at least not yet you will see what i mean in a moment can right click here and i can select new folder and i say rondo of wings then i can right click again and i say the pseudo code and i can create another folder um, and i forgot what the third one was going to be called uh, hmm. what was it going to be called um, i believe it was called till all are none yes and lastly, I will create a simple text file. And I will call this the Testament Lore. There. Now, if we would like to draw the hierarchy of the folder that I just created, we would have the Testament Novus Mundus, like so. Then within it, we will have three subfolders or child folders sorry chil children folders child folders i believe the correct term will be children folders plural for both um, unless child is used as an adjective i believe linguistically it would be children folders here i will have till all are none i will adjust this then here we will have rondo of wings and lastly we will have the pseudo coat since we are checking folders there is no need to to discuss the file because we are discussing folders only here now this is the parent directory to these three children i can enter let us say rondo of wings here and create another folder and i will call it chapter one so in this tree diagram i can lower this and then label it chapter one like so uh, yeah i can squeeze it on one line there we go so now this is the parent folder to these three and these are children or subfolders to this this is a grandparent to this folder and this is the parent to this folder like so now here is a question is this a child folder and if it is what is its parent folder you can pause the video to deliberate the answer then start it once you are ready to hear the answer this is definitely a child folder because as we mentioned everything is stored within the root directory or the c folder technically c colon the colon is factored in as part of the name however the c colon is not the direct parent to that folder what do you think is the direct parent to that folder well where did i create it where did i create that folder i created that folder in the desktop so the contained is this folder and the container is the desktop 
So that means that desktop is the parent folder to this child folder. And as you can see, this desktop folder is a child folder of this strangely named folder. And this folder is the child folder of the users folder, which in turn is the child folder of the C colon. And that is it with regards to the hierarchy of folders. Now you may wonder, this is simplistic, why bother with um, a lecture about it? This is only an introductory lecture. Its purpose is to streamline the process or lay the foundation for an important lecture, which is the notation for switching between folders programmatically. You can switch between folders through the graphical user interface. With a mouse click, you can enter a folder and with a mouse click, you can exit a folder. But when you are designing a program in a particular programming language, you must understand how to switch between folders using a particular notation or a particular syntax. Lastly, we will end this lecture with the term root directory. When I, for example, create a project in Java using IntelliJ or any other IDE, And you will hear this term quite often at the workplace when you hear the term the root directory of a project. In this example, I have the folder known as tutorial, which is also the name of the project. So IntelliJ takes the name of the project you wish to create and assigns it to the folder itself. And as you can see, this is the path to that folder. The C colon is the parent directory and tutorial is the subfolder or the child of that directory. We can also check it here. Where is it? Uh, tutorial right here. This is the folder that I use for the Java tutorial series. So let us enter here. This is what you see here, obviously. So source is a child folder of the tutorial folder. And I can enter it here. And as you can see, here is the path. We will discuss paths later on with respect to absolute and relative paths in addition to defining the term path. For now, I simply wish to discuss the hierarchy and do not worry, we will cover the backslashes later, Bismillah and God willing. Now, if I wish to create a file programmatically, let us say I wish to create a script, and in that script, I wish to create a file through that script, or I wish to create a file through the Java programming language. Java is programmed to create that file you wish to create in the root directory of the project. What is the root directory of this project? Note, we are not referring to the C colon anymore. So there is an absolute root directory, which is the C colon. And there is a relative root directory. What is it relative to? Relative to the project you are handling. So there is a difference between an absolute root directory, which contains everything, and the relative root directory, which contains everything relative to your project. Now, I will create a file in Java simply to show you what is the root directory of this project. 
So this will be a rather quick program and I will not handle any exceptions in case you are unfamiliar with the Java language. But this applies to any programming language truly, not just Java. But because I have been working with Java for the past few months for the uh, tutorial series, I am more familiar with it now. I feel that I forgot everything else related to C or C++ or what was that other programming language? R, yes, R. And I will call this root.txt. Then I will add the exception to the method signature, blah, 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 blah. And let us say I will write, hmm, what did I wish to write in this lecture? Uh, ah, yes. So here I will change that to love. Love is but an impulse that cannot uh, cannot lay a foundation for actionable events. So you cannot act upon an impulse. Thus, you cannot act upon love. So when you say you love someone, you truly do not love that person. It is just an impulse you feel. And to prove my point, you may hate that which is beneficial to you, and you may love that which is harmful to you. Why could you love that which is harmful to you? Because it is nothing more than an impulse that you feel, but you should not act upon it. As in, you cannot say, I love that person, thus I will marry that person. That marriage will end in failure. Why? Because that love is nothing more than an impulse. You have not seen what that person does in anger or how the person handles money. Is that person cheap or frugal? Is that person abusive? Is that person kind and gentle? Especially with online relationships, you only meet for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour within the 24 hours. And then when you part ways, each of the parties live normally. They only pretend. And then after they part ways, they revert to their own selves just to leave a good impression, as they say. So what do you act upon then? You act upon that which is tangible. Mercy and compassion lay the foundation for actionable events. These two are tangible. They are not impulses. Thus, you can build upon them, which is why if you wish to marry someone, you do not wait till you love them, then you marry them. You check and see if they are merciful and compassionate. You marry them. Then, because of the mercy and compassion that is littered in the relationship or populating the relationship, then the love develops. But if you love a person and then marry them, you will discover their flaws. Then you will leave that person, just as in Western societies where it is easier to leave and hurt someone without any shred of consciousness, uh, conscience, sorry, not consciousness, or remorse or regret at all. It is easy to toss them as if they were used toilet paper. Why? Because the person does not actually have mercy or compassion. Mercy and compassion are also the important pillars that allow 
the two spouses in a marriage to actually resolve their issues. Because they are merciful and compassionate to one another, they understand the definition of respect, sacrifice, and compromise. Whereas this has nothing but sex, and that is it. That is why people leave each other as if they were specks of dust in one's life. They, ma they never mattered. Because they have the love, but they do not have the mercy and compassion. Now that we have this, well, of course, I need to flush the stream or close it. Now, see where the file is created. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Keep your eyes pinned to this location here. Perhaps it is difficult for you to see it in the hierarchy here, but if I collapse this and then drop it again, you will see that this was created in the main tutorial folder. And we can see it here, the love.txt file and it has the words that we printed onto the file. So if I exit the tutorial folder, then enter it again. This is the location of the root directory of the project, which means that the folder you create for your project is the root folder of the project. It may not always be the case that the project folder you create is the root folder of the project. A good example of that would be the Angular framework. How so? I will create a folder here and I will call it Angular project. And then from within this project, I will create, um, and I forgot how to create a new project, ng new project scheduler. Let us see if that creates it. Uh, unknown. Uh, oh, for goodness sake, I forgot how to create a new project in Angular. ng new project I just want to test it. Uh, hold on, I will search for... Yeah, I will search for it. I will be right back. Okay, apologies for that. I have returned. I cannot believe I forgot the command, but then again, I rarely use the command line interface for this. Uh, well, let us, there's no need to add it. CSS, blah, 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 blah. So now it is creating a project for the Angular framework. If you are interested in Angular, I intend on creating a tutorial for it, but that will possibly be in the far future, not even the near future. So this will take a bit of time, but I wish to take this opportunity to show you where the root folder for an Angular project would be. Because now I have a folder called Angular Project and within it I am creating another folder called Scheduler. And within that folder everything will be contained. So just to remind you, in Java, the project folder you create is the root directory or the root folder relative to the project you are utilizing in Java. So remember, there's a difference between absolute and relative root. Now in Angular, on the other hand, if this ever finishes, I will probably pause the video and then return once it finishes. So it seems that the uh, program crashed because now I entered the scheduler uh, folder that I created using the ng new command and it created it successfully. 
so perhaps it grew tired of the command prompt I honestly do not know now here is what I wish to show you with respect to the root folder if I wish to do to launch this angular project so that I can see it and start editing it as I as I please I need to launch the uh, ng surf command from the root folder of the project let us see if the folder that I created here is the root folder cmd and I will run the ng serve command and press enter this should give me an error because a project definition could not be found so I need to locate the root of the project let us try scheduler now C, uh, cmd and I will close the old one here now if I type in ng serve and press enter Oh, so it seems to be processing successfully and it has been compiled. Let us test it. Uh, let us test it here. So now we should see the Angular welcome screen. There we go. So that means the root of our project for Angular is not this folder, but rather this folder. In my perspective, I find that identifying the root of the project comes with experience in addition to familiarity with the programming language or the project or the nature of the project itself. And that is it with regards to this video. I hope this lecture was helpful and beneficial to you all. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. Be safe, take care, and peace be upon you all. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad. Kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim. Wa barik ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad. Kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim. Fil alameen, innaka hamidun majid.